So here you can see the finished helix with a rectangular cross section. So the rectangle, this is a right hand helix, so it's going upwards, downwards, out the back, and then back again towards us. Right? And here you have the rectangular cross section that could be squared, it's done in a similar manner. And we've done the two outside helices from the outer diameter. So that was the first one, started here, finished here. This distance from here to here is called the pitch. And this distance from here to here is called the pitch as well. It's the same distance from there to there. You had an outer diameter and an inner diameter. The parts which aren't showing are then as a broken line, hidden detail. And you have to get used to how to draw in the parts which are showing. For a left hand helix I would have done it the other way around. So this part, instead of be going outwards, will be going backwards. And that changes not the construction but how which lines you darken and which lines you keep as broken lines. So they're done in the other way. This line in that case would be showing because it's going backwards then and then going outwards. So you have to switch what you darken and what you keep broken. Now for the second part of this very ordinary Christmas special, we're going to do a helix with a circular cross section. So you've got a bar which is circular in cross section and it's twisted around to form a helix, a spring with a circular cross section. Now it's, a, it's very simple but you have to pay attention to a, to a very confusing part. I don't know if that made sense but here you have the helix, it's already done so here I have the pitch from this point to that point we have the pitch and this point here is not the outer diameter nor the inner diameter of the helix it is the diameter taken from the center of the circle to the other center of the circle so you see the helix here is going to go outside my diameter which I've drawn to take in which I've drawn to construct my helix so if you're given a question to draw a helix which has an outer diameter an outer diameter of 70 2 so I'm constructing a, a, a helix with a circular cross section which has an outer diameter of 72 so you don't go constructing a circle with diameter 72 because 72, di 72 millimeters should be from that point to that point All right, the outer diameter from this point the outer circle to the other point of the other circle. So the rectangle should be done, should be drawn a bit smaller than the outer diameter. So let's say that this this helix has a circular cross section of diameter 12. So the material that is made of is 12 millimeters thick. So from the 72 I have to con I have to subtract the 6 mm for the radius here and the 6 mm for the radius there. So you have to con have to subtract the whole diameter. So 72 minus 12 would give us 60 diameter. So our rectangle should be 60 mm thick. So these questions I can, the only confusing part would be what diameter to take at the beginning because you're not always given the, in, the central diameter but you're usually given the outer diameter and you have to subtract that radius and that radius which gives you a whole diameter and, and having said that all, all you have to do is construct in the same way we did the other helix so that would be the pitch for one revolution here instead of constructing a whole circle I've constructed a semicircle which gives me the same result 
and I've divided that into 12 and that into 12. Each point would be taken double. Now each point for the helix, you see these points I've darkened here, they're, they're not joined in to give you the helix we did before because you don't need that point. Those points are simply taken as the centers of these circles. So in each of those points I've constructed a circle which has a diameter of 12 equal to the cross section of our helix. Now the helix I want is going to is going to be drawn on the outer on the outer circumference of these circles tangential to each of these circles. So all you have to do is go around these circles and they're guiding me to keep always the same diameter which is 12 millimeters throughout. So don't go bouncing in and out between the circles, just on the outer parts tangential to each circle. That is your circular cross section helix. Now to give it an, an idea that it is something that is going around three dimensionally, I'm going to add that part there that goes on halfway to the helix, which gives you a sense of overlap. All right. This is for one revolution. If you want more, if you want more revolutions, just add to that pitch the number of revolutions you need, the number of divisions you need. So there you have the two main helices where this one was constructed on a simple helix then we did the ribbon which had just the thickness like that then we did the rectangular cross section which gave me four helices constructed on the same pitch. I added the three div divisions because of this division here. Three divisions down and I added another three divisions. Thanks, and please comment or ask if you need more clarification. Thanks.